Hey guys, Zach here with Lone Star Percussion in Dallas, Texas, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to effectively and correctly mic a marimba for the field application. So that's marching band, front ensemble, or uh, indoor drum line. So the best way to mic a marimba overall is typically to do it with two microphones and a stereo pair out front of the instrument and a little bit on top of the instrument. This gives you a nice full wide spread of the instrument and a very balanced sound with the sound of the mallets hitting the bars and it gives the, the sound time to be amplified by the resonators. However, this only works in a controlled environment. So in a concert hall or recording studio, that's great where the instrument itself is isolated, but the farther you get those microphones from the instrument out in front of the instrument or on top of the instrument, the more sounds you're gonna capture from other instruments around it. So you're gonna get more bleed or noise inside those microphones that you don't want. You're really just wanting to capture the sound of the instrument that you're intending to. So for that application uh, for marching band or indoor drum line, we choose to mic the instrument from underneath. The setup we have on this instrument, which is an Adams synthetic bar marimba, just like you'd use on the field, is the space pair microphone setup. We do have another video on our YouTube channel. You can find the link in the description below where one of our associates here at the store, Michael Dooley, was playing some marimba excerpts, and we have the marimba mic'd in this exact same manner, but we switched out uh, five different sets of microphones, so you can hear the difference between all the sounds of the microphones in the exact same mic setup. So there are a few key things that we want to talk about here, and not just where to actually place the microphone to capture the sound the best, but also uh, a lot of times we get asked, how do you get the microphone attached to the frame in an effective way? So here we have an Adams instrument, and uh, we have a link below in the description that'll take you to a page. We have mounting solutions for microphones for all brands. So that's Majestic, Yamaha, Tama, Adams, uh, even some of the third party manufacturers like Pyle, Jarvis, and Titan. This is an Adams field frame, um, and we've got just the standard Pearl PCX100 clamp going across this bottom crossbar. This is the exact same clamp that they use on the accessory rail. These bars are the same size. So that's a really easy solution there. And uh, it allows you to slide the microphone up and down the, the frame to get the microphone placed exactly where you want it and it's very secure, it's not going anywhere. Next we have a telescoping boom arm that we've attached in that clamp. Um, you can use a gooseneck or another uh, just standard tube, but we really like this one because you can adjust the height and it really allows you to get the microphone exactly where you want it. Next we have the Lone Star Percussion Microphone Shock Mount. This is really important when you're gonna be mounting a microphone to a marimba field frame or any field frame for that matter um, because there is inherent frame noise that you get with these instruments. What I mean by that is um, when you strike the bars with mallets, especially the, the field series mallets that you use in marching band, they're usually a little bit heavier. Um, this frame is going to vibrate a little bit. If you don't have a shock mount on there, those vibrations are gonna go directly into your microphone. It becomes very apparent in the sound. You can hear the thuddiness of the mallet hitting the bar and shaking the frame. So this keeps a lot of those vibrations out. Uh, it suspends the microphone via some rubber bands in here and keeps this uh, suspended freely so you don't get those vibrations in there. Any vibrations that are left over while the microphone's in the shock mount are gonna be extremely low frequency. So you can simply roll off your EQ and take care of that noise. Moving on to the actual placement of the microphone, this is a space pair setup, which essentially just means you have two microphones spaced out, micing the same instrument. We found that the, the best placement for the microphone is about anywhere in between nine to 11 inches below the natural register of the, the instrument. So you simply take a tape measure and measure from the bottom register. You see we've got about 10, 10 and a half inches to the diaphragm of the microphone. And that gives you a really nice spread where the, the microphone is not too close to a certain note to where that note is extremely accentuated. Um, but it gives you a nice natural spread of the microphone to capture the full range of the instrument. One of the most important things to remember when using a space pair on a marimba like this is to follow the three to one ratio rule. And what that says is that However far a microphone is away from the sound source that it's picking up, the other microphone has to be at least three times the distance away. So uh, for instance, this microphone is about 10 inches from the closest note under here. That means we need to have these microphones at least 30 inches apart. The reason for that is because 
the sound that's coming from this F natural that's closest to this microphone is going to hit the microphone at the lower register at a different time. Since sounds are, are, are waves, that means the sounds can hit each other at different times and cancel each other out, which is gonna make uh, your marimba sound really thin and really dull. It's, gonna, it's called phase canceling. So you don't want any of that. You wanna have that microphone as far away from this one as possible, but still capturing an even sound. So, like I said, we need to have these microphones about 30 inches apart, at least. And you can see here when I measure it out, we've got about 31, 32 inches in between these microphones. So we're good there on the three to one rule. So now that we've gone over some of the, the key points that you need to focus on when miking a field instrument like this, um, it really just comes down to experimenting a little bit. So like I said before, getting the microphones in the right range of the instrument for the music that's written. And uh, you know, if it is a, a, an application where the full keyboard is being used, um, you need to drop the mics down just a little bit more. That means you're gonna have to put a little bit more space in between those microphones. So you really just have to play with it and find out what works for you the best. We've given you some key rules that you need to follow to, to help you get on your way uh, to making your ensemble sound its best. If you like the, the video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you.